Hello guys, today we are going to draw an ellipse, very important part of the engineering course. So today we are going to draw an ellipse by using concentric circles method. Come closer. There are many applications uh, having ellipse. There are like arches of bridges, pipes, elliptical gears, cylindrical tanks, and the path of earth. In so many uh, things, you can see the, the shape of ellipse. Okay, uh, ellipse have the eccentricity is less than one. So, what is eccentricity? You have to uh, read some background of eccentricity. Where if eccentricity is less than one, then the curve will we will get the curve ellipse. If it is equal to one, we will get the parabola. And if uh, the eccentricity is greater than one, then you will get a hyperbola. So, how question comes in exam? Construct an ellipse when its major axis is 100 mm. Major axis is 100 mm and minor axis is 70 mm. How ellipse comes now? See this. It has two axes. Like this is the major axis and this is the minor axis. They have given this is 100 and this is 70 mm. So, we have to draw by procedure using concentric circle methods. Now, I am going to draw this ellipse. Now see this, you have to draw a faint line here first of having uh, the major axis is 100 mm Is this visible? This line Okay, now this is a, the axis, major axis having 100 mm length Now you have to find out the center point of this length If it is 100 then 50 mm will be the center point. Now give some name A, B and the center point O. Now you have to take another axis that is called as minor axis. That minor axis will come 70 mm. So 35 in the top, 35 in the bottom. So this is the minor axis. Give some name C, D. This is the major axis and this is the minor axis. You have to draw two circles as uh, the topic name is, the method name is concentric circles. You have to draw two circles having same center. Or you may take radius from here O to A and draw one faint circle. will pass through the point B. Ah, now, this is the minor axis. CD is the minor axis, AB is the major axis. You have to draw two circles having same center. Now, take radius in the compass as O to C. Take radius as the OC and draw another circle. You can see two circles for two axes, major axis, this this circle and for minor axis this circle. Now we have drawn two circles as the method name is concentric circles method. Now we have to divide this outer circle in 12 equal parts. So this is the drafter where if you divide one circle by 12 parts, 360 by 12, you will get 30 degree for one part. You have to adjust this drafter in 30 degree angle and divide this outer circle in 12 parts now 30 degree take another 30 degree from there you have to adjust it in 160 degree and draw another line now this is vertical now you have to make 30 degree for this vertical one like this and make 60 degree again for vertical scale and extend this D and C so you will get 12 parts now give namings namings are important now this, we will start from A point, this will be the point 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स पॉइंट बी सेवन एट नाइन टेन अलेवन ट्वेल्व Similarly, this inner circle also you have to give the namings same. This will be the one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, eight dash, nine dash, ten dash, eleven dash, and twelve dash. Now we have divided both the circles in twelve parts. Now there is one procedure for it. We have to trace twelve points along. you will get an ellipse now this one and one dash will come here point 1 p1 will come here from this point we will start the ellipse the so second point will come here from two you have to come down faint line and two dash go left side where these two lines intersect you will get another point point p2 now bring Point three down and point three dash left will get P point P four and on inner circle you will get point P four. Ellipse will go around like this. Now from point five you have to come down and point five from point five dash you have to go right side. You will get P five. Similarly, do this. And on this seven dash and seven will come here. That is point seven. Now here you have to go upside, right side. P eight. P nine. And here and here two points will come on inner circle. P ten. You have to go upside here. Go left side. P eleven. Go left side. Go up side. We'll get P twelve. From P one to P twelve, the curve will come, and that curve will called as ellipse. Now, how to use this French curve? This is a French curve having some smooth shape here. So, in this shape, you have to move your what can we say that all the points. You will get a ellipse. Now, we we'll start from this side. You can see properly. I can adjust four points at a time. If you can, yes, I can. Or you may take three points at a time. From point P one to. P4, then take another another side. Here you can see. I'm going to match only three points now. take some time but you have to make a curve smooth now see this is an ellipse half ellipse you can see here now this side you have to keep french curve like this and move along the points from down side
so you, you, you can see this is complete ellipse and it came from this all 12 points P12 P12 this is very useful in uh, we have many applications in civil engineering and mechanical engineering like pipes gears cylindrical tanks and even our uh, path of the earth is like this okay thank you very much for watching this